Welcome back to our channel, Living the Alleyway. My, I'm Michael. And I'm Elizabeth. We love football in this house, and we have watched the playoffs, and they are finally over. Looks like the uh, team from California is going to play the team from Missouri, and we are going to get ready for a fun time watching the big game. We are going to show you guys how to make an amazing plant-based buffalo chicken dip. Mm. No dairy, Not no meat. All. It's so good. It's so good. Stay with us. We're going to show you guys how to whip this up, and it's going to be incredibly good. Stay tuned. So the first thing we need to do is get a one and a half cups of water almost to the boiling stage. So I'm going to put it in the microwave for about three minutes, get it almost boiling. And then we're going to put, add to that our better than bouillon, no chicken base, make a cup and a half of stock for the soy curls to soak in. I have my one and a half cups of water that I just took out of the microwave. It's really hot, so be careful when you're using this. And we are going to use a tablespoon and a half of our Better Than Bouillon No Chicken Base. It is a great product. You can get it on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. But it's a no chicken base. Tastes just like chicken. We use it all the time. It's kind of like, I guess, just basically a bouillon. So what we're going to do, I've already measured it out here. So I'm going to take the Better Than Bouillon. You can see it's just kind of like a paste. And I'm going to put it right into that hot water. And we're going to stir it really well to combine. And why are we doing this? because we're gonna soak the soy curls in it. You stir this just real quick. It comes together really quickly, as you can see. We're also using Butler soy curls. These you can get on Amazon. I've never found them in a store, but these are 100% natural, and it's only soybeans that they use for this. We use these all the time, all kinds of cooking. You can see right now, they're just a, a dried, they're a dry consistency. They look like little pieces of chicken, but what we're gonna do is just put these carefully right into our hot water and spill some of them. <laughs> <Save me. laughs> we're gonna just come in here, soak these down in here. We're gonna let them sit for about eight to 10 minutes and then we'll come back and drain them and give them a rough chop and get them ready to go into our dish. Okay, so as you guys can see, we picked up a beautiful baguette from our local HEB grocery store yesterday. If you haven't been to an HEB, you need to stop by Texas sometime and go to one. They're an amazing grocery store. He's just going to slice these. Michael's, Michael is going to slice these into about three quarters to one inch thick slices. And we're going to bake these off into crostinis in the oven, 400 degrees, probably for about eight to 10 minutes. And I like to do it on the offset a little bit so it makes it a little longer, a little more pretty. A little more surface to get the, the dip on too. That's right. The next thing we need to do is take all of this bread, all these sliced pieces of bread, and we're gonna put them on this nice cookie sheet here and bake them off in the oven 400 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes. You also, I wanna let you guys know, if I'm not putting anything on these, but you could spray these or brush them with like an, a good olive oil. You could put garlic on these. You could put seasonings on these, but I'm just gonna leave it plain because there's gonna be so much flavor in that uh, buffalo chicken dip. I don't think we need any seasoning on these this time. And we have two little end pieces on the end. As my cousin Kathy Gale used to say, these are samps. We'll have these for snacks. So we're gonna go right in the oven, 400 degrees, and we'll be right back with you guys. We're gonna check our crostini now. And these have been cooking about eight minutes. We flipped them halfway through. They look good. They don't have a lot of color on them, but they're definitely cooked. Nice and toasty. Even though they're not brown, they have a lot of crunch. They do. So I'm basically just going to take all these off of here, put them in a nice bowl, and set them aside until we're ready to do our taste test. But don't those look pretty? You can hear how crispy they are. Nice. We have our soy curls that have soaked for about eight to 10 minutes. And you can see, get a nice close up, close up of that. Get a nice close up there. You can see they're nice and reconstituted in that uh, chicken flavored base, bouillon, yeah. bouillon base. All we're gonna do is just take this and drain these off. And I'm gonna give them just a little bit of a tap here just to kind of get some of that excess water out. Not a big deal, but you don't want them to be too liquidy. All right, and we're gonna go right over here. Hopefully not make big a mess. I'm just gonna 
put all these out onto my cutting board here. We're just going to give these a rough chop here, just so they aren't too large. Bite-sized pieces will do. I'm going to set this aside, and we are going to get ready with our things to go into the blender. We'll be right back. The next thing we need to do is put our ingredients into our high-speed blender. If you don't have a high-speed blender, you probably want to soak your cup of cashews in some hot water for about 30 minutes or you could boil them in some water for 5 to 10 minutes just to soften them. We are using a Vitamix blender, it's a high speed blender, so it's going to be just fine. So we're going in with one cup of raw cashews, make sure you're using raw cashews. We're going in with three quarters of a cup of fresh water. Going in with a third of a cup of nutritional yeast. Going in with one teaspoon of celery salt, just because this is a buffalo style, so we're going in with that. One tablespoon of onion powder. One tablespoon of garlic powder. We're also using one fresh garlic clove in here that Michael chopped up for us. And we're gonna use the juice of a, a full lemon, fresh lemon juice. We're going to put the top on and we're going to blend this until it's nice and smooth. Okay, we're just going to check this to see if it's nice and smooth and it should be. Looking, looking good, I might go a little bit longer, but we're okay. Okay, we're going to go in with a half a cup of Frank's Original Hot Sauce go right into that. Sadie's got her toy back there. She's playing with her toy. We are going to go in with a quarter cup of dairy-free blue cheese dressing. This is Follow Your Heart brand and it is really, really good. So we know traditional buffalo dip has ranch and blue cheese. And now we're going in with a third of a cup of dairy-free ranch. This is Hidden Valley's um, plant-based ranch and it is also really really good if you haven't tried these you should I'll put a link in the description down below and get all that in that goodness in there and it's so good all right we are just gonna go in for a quick mix on this right now just to get all that blended in and go on high All right, let's take a look. It smells, I can already smell it. It smells so good. Look how beautiful that color is. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. The next thing we're gonna do is prepare our pie pan, put this in there, mix in the soy curls, get it in the oven, ready to bake. I am going to put everything into this Le Creuset pie pan. Typically, I don't even have to spray these, but I'm gonna do it just to make sure if you guys aren't using Le Creuset, they're incredible. We've got a whole uh, set of them, all kinds of stuff. But um, I'll put stoneware, a link. Stoneware, yeah. It's stoneware. I'll drop a link down in the bottom if you're interested. I'm just going to spray this lightly. I'm using the Chosen Avocado Spray. Spray it really good. And I'm going to go in with our mix. Michael and I tried it. It is so tasty. go in with the, our prepared soy curls. We're just going to go right in with all of them. Straight in. And I'm just going to mix this around to get them all nice and coated. That looks amazing. Okay, that looks so pretty. It is going to taste incredible. We're going to put this in a 385 degree oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. We're going to check it. I might take it out about 20 minutes, put the grated cheese on top and put it back in and then we're going to take it out and we're going to put just a little drizzle of ranch over the top, some green onions for the garnish if you guys are interested in that. You don't have to use green onions. If you don't like them, leave them out. Okay, I'm getting ready to put this into my preheated oven at 375 degrees. If you don't have a pie pan like this, you want to use some kind of oven safe dish. You could also use a cast iron skillet. Great application for this. 
Um, if we just made enough just for Michael and I, if you're having a big party, you could double or triple this recipe and easily make a nice big pot of this. But as I said, the, the oven is preheated, 385 degrees. We're going in for about 20 minutes. We're gonna check it in 20 and come right back. Sadie, are you ready for the big game? Yeah, you want some buffalo dip? <laughs> Football, hi! Football. One, two. Yeah, I think we'll just hold on and have some dinner. How about it that? All right, we'll get dinner in just a minute, okay? Actually, this has been in the oven for about 23 minutes now. So I'm gonna take it out. We're gonna take a quick look at it, see if it's ready to put our cheese on. It smells heavenly in here and that looks so good. It does, I want some now. Oh, stick your finger in it, see if it's hot. <laughs> I'll be quiet. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we're gonna take a little bit of our absolute favorite Violife cheddar cheese style shreds. They're vegan, plant-based, and they are so good. They're some mm -hmm. of our very favorites. So I'm just gonna sprinkle about maybe a quarter to a half cup on top here, just to give it a little pretty on top, get a little of that cheesiness going. Mm. We put the nutritional yeast in there and that blue cheese flavor uh, dressing, so it already kind of has a really good cheesy flavor to begin with. Not that we tried it or anything, no, but yeah, yeah no. we did. And we're gonna just put a little bit of this extra on top. I think that looks... That looks great. Yeah, it's just about good. And we're gonna go back in for just about five minutes and let that cheese get nice and melted. We'll take it out and we will show you guys what the next step is. You guys, it smells so good in here. I cannot wait to see how this looks. It's gonna be beautiful, I know. Oh, oh and yeah. it's bubbly. Look at the bubbles on the side, how pretty that is. Mm. and how hot it is. So let's set it over here. And what we want to do now is we want to add just a nice little, by the way, do not touch the, the pan. It's super screaming hot right now. So we're going to very carefully take a little bit of that blue cheese dressing, the dairy-free. We're just going to drizzle a little of that right over the top. Oh, that looks good. Get a little of that lovely blue cheese flavor that makes mm, that buffalo. Looks so good. Smells is. amazing. That is beautiful. And we're gonna go in with a little bit of fresh green onions, also called spring onions sometimes, just for a garnish. Again, if you don't like them, leave them out. You can put parsley on this. You could maybe do some cilantro. Might be a different twist on it. Okay, so we've got all those beautiful green onions on there. All right, my friends, this looks incredible, and we are gonna do a taste test, and I'm gonna beat Michael to the first taste. Be right back. All right, we are back. This is hot out of the oven. This looks and smells amazing. It is so hot, but I want you guys to see this in a close-up look. This is gonna beautiful. be a perfect dip for the big game. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be great. Mm. Somebody's gotta win, right? I know, it's <laughs> probably gonna be 49 to nothing. Oh wait, maybe not, maybe not. I don't not. know. I'm gonna taste test first, because I have been waiting on this all day. Take a little bit off the end here. Oh man. Get a little of that blue cheese on there. Blue cheese, oh, it's oh. beautiful. It's hot, so, mm. All right, tell me all about it before I get there. Mm. Oh. It is creamy. <laughs> is it hot? It's warm from the mm -hmm. oven. It's good and spicy, cheesy, and the onion mm -hmm. just, oh. And those soy curls, if you haven't used them before, you need to use them because they are so good in so many applications, but this is the one. This is the one. Mm -hmm. Give it a Love shot. It. Okay, thank you. Mm. Oh. Game day. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat the whole thing? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't know this is this is plant based. I could serve this to my friend at the office that doesn't like vegan food, and not or thinks him he doesn't don't like tell him anything. vegan yes. food. He would not have a clue. Mm. Oh, I mm. know <laughs> that the crostini fell apart. Mm. These are great too. You guys need to make these. They are. Mm. Mm. That is so good. 
my friends, you need to try this and get this ready for the big game because it will be a oh, hit yes. no matter if they're vegan or it's not. It's spicy, it's, it's warm, it's hot. Creamy, cheesy. And it tastes just like chicken. Yeah. And you can definitely take that Frank, taste that Frank's Red Hot. So, but it's not too mm. hot. It's just like a nice spice that's just mm. perfect. Well, we need to go get that game on soon. I <laughs> know, it's going to come on soon. So, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We mm -hmm. appreciate you uh, coming by. Glad we could make this for you guys. Yeah. Um, if you haven't joined our YouTube channel yet, please do so, Living the Alleyway. We'd love to have you become part of our YouTube family. And make sure and hit that notification bell so you always know when we come out with a new video. And, and, and if you want to score points, <laughs> drop, drop a drop comment. The, yes, definitely. Drop a comment down yes. below. And we'll give whoever leaves the most comments gets the gets the most points. Drop it like it's hot. It is hot. It is. <laughs> anyway, we hope, we hope everybody's doing well. We love you guys. We appreciate mm -hmm. you. And we will see you on the next video. Go Bye. team. Go team. I bet somebody's gonna win. Somebody's gonna win. Bye. Bye.